This is, this is particularly apropos because it covers a Duke of Kalantir who is also a Viscount of North Shield. And that would be Khan McNeil. So early in his singing career, he learned the words to the fun modern Irish song, Why Petty's Not at Work Today. You all know the song about the bricks and the barrel and the rope and the pulley and how it could be a freshman physics problem. Yeah. <laughs> he learned it, he sang it, sang it, yes. People loved it and never let him forget it, even though he was becoming a much better singer and songwriter, but they always wanted it. And so for years and years and years, he complained and threatened, one of these days, I'm going to write a filk about how much I hate singing Patty's Not at Work today. And he kept on threatening this for years and years and years. And what did we get? Bupkis. Well, good friend that I am, eventually I said, Khan, either write it or I'll write it for you. Yeah, you'll never do that, Drix. Yes, I will. Yes, I did. Drix, I'm holding your beer. Very good. <laughs> I beg of you, my audience, pray listen to my song. The tune may seem familiar, but the words are very wrong. And when I'm finished singing it, you'll know just why I say. I'm sick and tired of singing Patty's Not at Work Today. I've written many different songs, of which I'm justly proud. A battle of and honor that I'll sing for any crowd. In Rebel Gate or Camp by Light, or in the King's Great Hall. But all they want to hear about is Patty's clumsy fall. The first time that I sang it was up north in Koranwi. The gentle folk all loved the song and laughed aloud with glee. But you can guess the shock I got at what did happen then. <coughs> Before I finished my next beer, they called for it again. The next time that I sang it was out at the Pensick War. The gentle folk all loved the song and called for it once more. And with the armies on the raid before they call lay on, the kings demanded then and there to hear that bloody song. I was reveling by campfire on a warm and starry night and courting that a lady fair by fire's dancing light. And when she asked me to up her tent to take our evening sleep, she asked me to sing Patty in my tone so rich and deep. The rebel done, I headed home, and Monday went to work. The boss, they said, had summoned me. I sat off with a jerk, and when he asked for Patty, I just had to make it plain. I'd rather do what Patty did than sing that song again. 